David, on the back of another hard-earned point on the road and a full week of training, how, how are the boys and how are you feeling going into Saturday? Yeah, look, we've had a, an extremely busy and tough couple of weeks. Three trips to London and beyond, um, interspersed with a really tough home game. As me it's been a really, you know, really tough physical fortnight. So we've come through that pretty well, both in terms of results, performance, injuries. So yeah, we've had um, not as an in- intensive week um, because the games program allows us to do that. The fixtures allow us to do that. So you know, we've 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 been able to manage a couple of people, get into. The, um, a few players what we want to get into in terms of development, both tactically and technically, and we've you know we've 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 managed the group as, as best we can leading into the weekend. We're now one of the informed teams in the league, and the home forms turned as well with back to back wins at home, back to back clean sheets. Must be a lot of momentum and positivity there at the moment. Yeah, and, you know, we yeah the, the performances have been good, the, the results have been just as good. You got to remember before that we deserved a lot more points than what we got. So the performances have been good for a while. It's just that we didn't get the the results that our performances warranted. Now that's been that has turned the corner, but I think that was only a matter of time. And yeah, we're, we're six unbeaten and we're, we're going along nicely. We've got to turn more draws into wins, like the Sutton game, like the Morecambe game. But we knew that them certainly our away form. You know, we've only lost one since I've been at the club away from home in the league. That, that was underpinning and, and the, the results were also matching the performances away from home. Now we've turned that into two home wins in the, in the last couple of games and we've got to make sure that continues as well. Those good performances and that particular defensive <coughs> performances are going to be needed again on Saturday when Wrexham come out there. Yeah, of course. Look, Wrexham are uh, you know, well supported, excellent team, well funded team, you know, really passionate. So we know that They've got a lot, a lot of things going for them. Um, they're up the top of the league on merit. Certainly, this stage of the season, you're in the places where you should be. On, you know, on, on merit, and we've got to make sure we match the all, all the stuff that we matched against MK Dons and and the previous games. Um, you know, we've had to we had to dig in probably more against Gillingham than we have done in any of the previous five games because it was the end of a tough run, and they were good on the day. Now, if we know we do that again, then we'll give anyone a game, and that's what we've got to do. You touched on it there about Wrexham being well supported, as are we. It's heading for another bumper crowd. <coughs> These are the types of games you really want to be involved in as a player, aren't they? Yeah, look, we, against MK Dons the other night, it was fantastic. It was three and a half sides of the ground that was singing their heads off after 65, 75 minutes because we needed them, and they were brilliant in their response. Obviously, Wrexham were going to fill their allocation, whatever they've got. So it's going to be all four sides of the ground singing. It's going to make a cracking atmosphere. And we've got to make sure that we feed off that. Because we did the other day, the, the, the fans helped us against MK Dons get over the line. And I asked for the same amount of support again, because they were, they were magnificent. They've been magnificent since I've been here. And there's, there's no getting around that. And hopefully we'll give them something to cheer about. Wonder how, how pleased are you with the, gen, the January additions you made? They're all having a real impact now, aren't they? Yeah, look, I think whenever you... Whenever you go into a, certainly a January transfer window, the, the summers when the, the, they are distinctly different. But a January transfer window, you just want to improve. You're never going to improve massively. You're never going to be able to, you know, revolutionise your whole team. It just doesn't work like that. But you look at what we've brought in. They've, they've, they've made a distinct Im- impression. Um, all of them, all of them, um, and we've got to make sure that continues. You know, they've, they've been very good. So hopefully. You know, going into the summer, we can have a, a similar productive summer, and and we keep continues keep continuing to progress because that's the aim of the game. When, when each transfer window comes, you want to get better. Yes, you want to take big steps and strides forward, but it doesn't always work like that. But I do think we've made significant strides since pre-January. When you came in, did you have targets or bit sort of points of the season where you wanted to be a certain place, and now you sort of um, where you were or where you thought you might be? Yes, if the truth be told, we, we chunked up, we just come to the end of our last chunk of six games um, and we gave the players the, the points target and we've exceeded that and we've got to go again for the next six. So yeah, we, we do try and chunk it up a little bit and um, 
we have to be a bit, bit mindful that you know if you set them six points from the next six games and you, you win the first two that they don't think the next four is alright you, you, so you've got to be a bit mindful of how you deliver it and when you deliver it and but we, we've got full faith in the group to keep, keep this unbeaten run going.